So this is a breakout board for um, at Tiny13, just with a single LED. Um, basically a breadboard breakout, so that there's the pins for programming from a, a Arduino. So I'm going to be filming the close-ups using this camera. So I'll just get that out of the way for now. So these... Are the components that are going on, or most of the components. So basically, what you're looking at here is um, that's the at tiny, obviously. I've got an 0804 yellow LED in here at the moment. I've got to put a resistor into there yet. That's a 10k resistor which goes back to pin 1 to power and that keeps it a little bit high, it's the reset pin. That's basically just for programming purposes and then I have a capacitor between ground and 5 volts. <coughs> Jumping to the other camera. So the resistors basically come in a thing like that. So the reason that I'm using the values, actually I'll do the diode test for the camera. So on this here, there's a green line which you can just see at this end. If I get the multimeter probes in, you can see it just lights up. And on the other camera, you can see 1.897, 1.9 volts. And I don't want this to be terribly bright. So I basically want to keep it you know, under 5 milliamps if possible. So I go 5 volts minus 1.9 volts equals 3.1 volts. And I could probably go down, this is a 620 ohm. Divide by 620 ohms equals 5 milliamps. I'm going to have to do that again because of the king light. I never noticed that before. This thing actually says grand total when you hit equals. <laughs> That's really cute. 5 volts minus 1.9 volts equals 3.1 volts. That's pretty straightforward. Divide by 620 ohms is 5 milliamps. This stuff basically just goopy lead solder. And my ultra high tech tool is a bamboo skewer because it seems to work better than anything else so I'm basically just taking a very tiny I'm not going to focus on the skewer amount of this It's not a million miles out from where I want it. Again. So I'm running at 290 degrees and at the very lowest setting for the uh, airflow. And as this um, kind of works, 
tends to go fluffy and then it goes shiny like so and smaller components will kind of jump into place Continuity test. Might have a bridge over there. I'm basically just applying heat and then at a certain point it will allow me to flow solder into the joint get the soldering iron in there, get the heat into the joint that tiny little dab actually just applies more heat rather than applying solder and then I'm really just working out here with the solder that's pretty good that's fine I mean it's a bit of a pain in the ass that I've um, managed to spill bits of solder around the shop but it's not going to affect the function so okay so that's basically a solderable that tiny 13 breakout super smart solder not wildly difficult